today on Be Something Wonderful, how faking it till you make it really creates your imagined reality. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, good morning and welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Big video for you today, and it's really related around the last few videos that we've released, one on the membership channel and now one on the public channel where we presented this seven day manifesting challenge to affirm the idea that I am perfect, it's perfect, to see everything as perfect, as the perfect unfolding, right? And creating that magic as conditions change right in front of your eyes. This is what's been happening and we're getting a lot of comments, a lot of the emails around these two videos and these two ideas. And then yesterday I had a conversation with one of you, a powerful creator, and he goes, it really answers the question to when I used to feel like I was faking it or pretending when I was affirming, right? He goes, it really answers the question to faking it till you make it because you're not faking it. That, that reality that you desire, that identity, that version of you is already within you, right? God always and already said yes. So it's not about convincing God. It's not about convincing the, the great subconscious. The, remember, whatever you impress is accepted by that great subconscious. God agrees with you. God said yes already. I use that quote from the movie Jerry Maguire, where you had me at hello. Well, you had God at hello, and then one of you said, you had me at I am. Yeah, you had God at I am. Whatever, whatever you're impressing there, whatever you are agreeing that you are, who and what you, you are conscious of being, God says yes, right? So you're not faking it or really pretending anything. It's already an identity within you. This is powerful. I want to talk about these ideas today and more. Let's start with the subscriber comment. Tom, because of yesterday's video, this video on how robotic I am affirmations rearrange reality and manifest miracles. Because of yesterday's video, I had realized that I'm not doing, in other words, affirming, repeating, persisting in the new identity reality. I'm not doing something to convince my subconscious mind, but I'm doing it for the 3D linear, linear mind, limited linear mind, tongue twister. <laughs> this is a whole other shift. The subconscious is perfect. God is perfect. The subconscious is perfect. God is perfect. God sees you as perfect. You're perfect. So you're doing it for your, your God doesn't need your repetition. God heard you the first time, right? God said, yes, you had God at I am. So it's not to convince the great subconscious or God. It's for you to keep your focus on that, that greater reality, that identity that you choose, right? This is powerful. And, and that's why you're not faking or pretending anything. That identity is already there. Let's, let's really unpack this today like we never had before. Dare to believe it, right? You had God at I am, as one of you said. It's perfect. You are perfect. I am perfect. God, consciousness, awareness doesn't need convincing. You do right? You need that convincing. Remember Jesus at the tomb of Lazarus, the, the great I am, Jesus at the tomb of Lazarus as he was praying. It's a great example that, it's, that, that that repetition, that affirmation is for you. God doesn't need the convincing. The great subconscious doesn't need the convincing. God's already impressed, <laughs> right? You do. And here's a great example. When Jesus was praying, he said, Father, in other words, the great I am, the isness of reality, all that is. Thank you that thank you that you have heard me. And I know that you always hear me. God always hears you. God always says, yes, you had God at I am. You had God at hello. And I know that you always hear me. But here's the but. Because of the people who are standing by, I said this, that they may believe that you sent me. Very powerful. The people representing your 3D linear mind, that focus that is out there in the outer circumstances and the conditions are on your changing thoughts and feelings. So I know that you've always hear me, but, I, but because of the people who are standing by, I said this. Or in other words, I affirmed this. 
right? I thank you. It's gratitude in affirming that, that greater reality, right? That's powerful that they may believe that you sent me. It's for you to believe it, right? Dare to believe it. Dare to affirm it anyway. God doesn't need you to, you don't need to convince God. So affirm it anyway. Move there anyway. Declare it anyway. Assume it anyway. Imagine anyway. You hand God it, I am. This is powerful. The great I am, the Father, always hears you. Because you're the center of all of it. You're not separate from the Father. Right? You had me and I am. But because of your 3D world linear focus, this me out here that feels separate and limited, you affirm and you express gratitude. Like Jesus, thank you, Father. Affirming the life of Lazarus, not the death. Right? You affirm and express gratitude. Not for God. God heard you. So it's not, it's not even gratitude for, for, remember, gratitude is unconditional. God doesn't need your, your gratitude. It's for you. It's for you to affirm and express gratitude. God heard you. God's perfect. That great subconscious is perfect. Therefore, you as God's son must be perfect. God doesn't make mistakes. God creates, you were made in God's image, which is perfect. That's why a prayer of thanksgiving or gratitude in the affirmation of I am perfect are so insanely powerful. One of you said, this was a great email, that I feel this tremendous gratitude for, for no reason at all when I affirm I am perfect. What a wonderful thing to say. That's exactly what we're talking about. How can you not help but feel gratitude for life and more life and for that perfection that you are? You don't, you don't have to impress God right? That, that, that you are perfect. The affirmations that remind you you're perfect. You don't have to impress God. God, that impression was accepted. God accepts everything you believe that is true of yourself, that you believe that is true of you. Hear this, right? You don't have to impress God. God accepts, or that great subconscious accepts all impressions or everything that you believe that is true of yourself. All impressions that you believe. It accepts all of them. Right? So affirm it anyway. God already, God already said yes. You are that anyway. You are that perfection. Right? So you don't have to impress God. That's for you. That impression, that, that feeling of gratitude, that affirmation is to remind you that you're perfect. God accepts everything. Everything's impressed. Right? This whole um, bogus belief that the subconscious rejects things. It doesn't reject anything. God, God doesn't reject anything. It's all accepted. It's all impressed. Every thought, every feeling, every image, every perception, everything there, all that is, is all that is. All that is wouldn't reject anything. It's all accepted. It's really what you decide. Who are you? Right? But that, that affirmation of I am perfect is saying, I am perfect. I'm going to say it anyway. I'm going to just say the word like the centurion. Just say the word. I'm not worthy, but just say the word. I'm it. That's powerful today. So when you affirm, imagine, and assume I am perfect, you're praising God, right? As one with God. That's what it means to praise God. You're recognizing your unity with all that is. That there's no separation between you or anything else or anybody else. That's what that means. You're announcing reality. You're not faking it. You're not pretending. You're not mocking God. That conversation came up. Whatever you desire, affirm, and imagine, and assume is fulfilled in the desiring of it. Otherwise, God would be mocked. Do you hear it? Whatever you do, hear this again. Whatever you desire, affirm, imagine, assume is fulfilled in the desiring of it. Otherwise, God would be mocked. I am not that which I desire to be that then God would be mocked if that were true, right? All beliefs are limiting or a condition placed on I am, all assumptions. You're completely unlimited. You get to decide, right? You get to decide who you are. That's powerful. So this is from A Course in Miracles. I, I've, I've talked about this quote many times in many videos. God is not mocked is not a warning, but a reassurance. God would be mocked if any of his creations lacked holiness. In other words, lacked completeness or wholeness or perfection or fulfillment. 
You're absolutely fulfilled. You're perfect. You're whole. You're complete. Pretend, fake it, affirm and believe it anyway. Do you see it? That's what fake it to you make it is because you're already perfect because you're not really faking it and you already made it. Pretend, fake it, affirm and believe it anyway. That's exactly what you're doing, always doing. Right? As you're believing and assuming that you're limited by these 3D circumstances and separate from that which you desire. Do you see it? You're doing that right now. That's exactly what you're always doing. Believing and assuming that you're limited by 3D circumstances or separated from what you desire or separated from God. That's the pretending. That's the faking it because you're not separate from anything. Right? So the, the, this is what it, it says in Scripture. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. That's powerful. You're already that. You're, you're the, faith, the only faking or pretending is believing that you're separate from that which you desire. Believing that you're, you're limited by circumstances and you're limited by beliefs and assumptions. You're not, you're not even limited by these beliefs. It, it don't, you don't have to go digging them up, right? And just decide what you believe now. Decide what you assume now. You're perfect. This is powerful. Nothing is true or final other than the absolute truth of being. I am. There are no facts other than what you assume and believe. Do you see it right now? It, when we go try to look for beliefs, when we go try to dig up those bones, we find more bones. It's endless. There's always going to be a belief to justify your search for limiting beliefs. There's always going to be another one. Instead, decide what you want to believe. All beliefs are limiting. By, by definition, they're limiting. Because I am is absolutely limitless. So all assumptions are limited. So don't go looking for them. Decide what you want to assume and believe now. Right? As source. It's not delusional. You're not faking it. You're not pretending. This is what makes the law of assumption so potent. You don't need to try to believe. Just dare to believe. In other words, assume it and imagine it anyway. Right? It, remember when the, the, the disciples, the apostles were saying to Jesus, increase our faith. And Jesus didn't answer. He, he talked about the mustard seed, which is, what is the mustard seed? It's perfect faith. I am is perfect faith. A mustard seed knows it's a mustard seed. And it will grow into a mustard plant or mustard tree. It's complete, absolute faith. It's not a small amount. It's complete faith. Right? Dare to, this is what Neville Goddard says. Dare to believe in the reality of your assumption and watch the world play its part relative to its fulfillment. Just dare to believe it. Say it anyway. Right? You had God at I am. I love that one of you said that. You had God at hello. Right? It's powerful. There you are, the center of all of it. Right? Looking out from one vantage point, one perspective of all the identities that you are. And hear this, and we've talked about this in many different ways, in many different videos. If any desired reality or version of yourself were not really you, were not really you, you, would, you wouldn't, not would, <laughs> you wouldn't, that's a wouldn't there, you would not even be able to imagine, assume, affirm, pretend, or fake it. Hear this. So whether you're faking or imagining it doesn't matter. You wouldn't be able to fake it or imagine it if it wasn't already you. It brings a fake it to you, make it to a whole new level. If any desired reality or version of yourself were not really you, you would not even be able to fake it, imagine it, assume it, pretend it, or affirm it. It's all you. That's why faking it till you make it works, right? You already are it. You made it, right? Neville Goddard says to desire a state is to have it. In other words, to fake it is to make it. <laughs> That's what that means. That's powerful. So manifesting in reality creation is about deepening that connection with who you really are. All of you all that you are, all of those identities, all of those realities, that limitless multidimensional you choosing what identity and version you wish to experience next, as I show here.
right? It's all of you. It's deepening your connection with all your identities and then deciding what identity you're going to see through now, see, see through which identity you're going to see now. So you're always pretending and faking it while having a physical 3D world focused experience. You're always, right? Because that's the real faking. That's the real pretending. It's all of you. I am choosing a specific focus, a vantage point, a viewpoint and perspective. That's the paradox of reality creation, right? The limitless you limits itself in order to have the expanding experience of knowing itself from another infinite perspective or vantage point or viewpoint of as source and all that is. That's the paradox. It's about expansion. <laughs> it's also though about, uh, it's, a, it's also about limitation, <laughs> but you're limiting yourself to expand, to have that expanded experience is all that is. That's the great paradox, right? You're putting on a mask as all that is, right? You're wearing a mask. You're, you're pretending you're going to be something else. You're that actor in your own movie. Right? That's the paradox. The limit, limitless you limits itself in order to have the expanding or the expansion or the evolution, the evolving experience of knowing itself from other infinite perspectives as source and all that is. That's how faking it till you make it really creates your imagined reality. I am your host, Tom Karen. And this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. For joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our TikTok at Be Something Wonderful, and our membership channel. <laughs> and um, uh, if you're a member, thank you for joining us. And don't forget, we do have a live stream this coming Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific Coast Standard Time. Some of you are asking, I say nine o'clock, and I always mean Pacific Coast Standard Time because we're coming to you here from the West, from Las Vegas. Pacific Coast Standard Time on the membership channel, we're gonna to come to you live on Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific Coast Standard Time, right here from the studios of Be Something Wonderful, we're gonna broadcast. And we're going to do a live stream and we're going to answer your questions and topics that you've been sending to us at info at be something wonderful.com. So keep sending your questions and topics that you want to talk about. I'll also answer questions live right on the chat, right on the live stream. Creators, if you're, if you're a member, join us. If you're not a member, check out the link below. Creators with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. This is Tom Karen here in the studios of be something wonderful until next time. We'll see you soon.